Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and it looks like former President Donald Trump is headed for an electoral college landslide. Oh yeah. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please visit that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America and hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Now, I told you guys in a previous video, polling is changing dramatically. Any lead Harris had is evaporating. Her campaign is getting desperate, grasping at straws, swinging wildly right now, and it's showing. There is scandal after scandal hitting her husband, scandal after scandal hitting Tim Walls, and Kamala Harris really has had no answer for how she's going to be different than Joe Biden. We're witnessing an epic collapse, a monumental collapse, and I think something that will go down in the history books. Kamala Harris was a uniquely unpopular vice president, exceedingly unpopular. And sure, replacing Biden gave her some popularity, but you knew that was going to evaporate if there wasn't any substance behind it. And she's never had a plan. You can go back to 2019. She never had a plan. That's why she didn't get any delegates. It's why Joe Biden trounced her and then inexplicably picked her as his vice presidential pick. I don't know what the thinking was there, except that he, he guaranteed he would pick a black woman, so his pool was very small. That being said, Fox News host Brett Baer showed that if the election were held today, not only would former President Trump defeat Harris, but it wouldn't be close. It wouldn't be close. The first scenario, a little close. The second scenario, not close at all. And they might be undercounting here. Again, I don't want you to get too cocky or arrogant. Things can change. There is about three and a half weeks to the election. Things can still change. But right now, if you had a pick, you'd rather be Donald Trump than Kamala Harris. I want you to watch this video. And Brett Baer is by no means a Trump guy. So I want you to watch this video and let me know what you think in the comments. If you look now, considering where the average of polls are, that gives us some sense of where the Electoral College stands tonight. And that's really the difference, and that's how you win the race. 270 is the number you have to get to. These yellow states are the toss-up states that we've talked about. And as we stand in this what-if scenario, 225 to 219 here. Now, if you take the real clear politics average of the recent polls, as of tonight. Now, understanding that some of them are one point, less than one point, a couple points within the margin of error. But if you said tonight was the election, uh, Kamala Harris would win in Nevada. She would win in Wisconsin. She would win Nebraska's district there, 242 to 219. As of tonight, however, Donald Trump would win Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, Michigan, and he would win in Pennsylvania. 296 to 242, and he would be the 47th president of the United States. When you see these articles, Democrats are very concerned about where the trend is going. This is one of the reasons, because they look at the possibility of that sweep of the Rust Belt and the Sun Belt. But that sweep could favor the former president even more. A new Wall Street Journal survey out today shows him leading Harris in Nevada by six points. That would give the former president a razor-thin edge in the real clear politics average of polls. And in our what-if scenario tonight, we would award him Nevada's six electoral votes, making the new outcome 302 for Trump, 236 for Harris, and increasing Democratic jitters. 